in this example, we're going to talk about supply and in the next example that I record demand. And supply and demand is one of those basic tenets of a market economy that we have to know. Basically, the principle at work is this. If we talk about demand for a certain product, there's a principle at work. If we take all the other factors being equal, that is, different parts of the economy, uh, you know, things don't change, uh, basically we're saying that the higher a unit price, the lower the demand for that product. As everybody well knows, if we start trying to increase the price of bro loaves of bread, uh, a certain kind of bread, maybe somebody will go to a competitor, and that uh, demand for that particular unit will decrease right, to a certain point. So, our demand equation basically looks like this. In this graph, you can see that we're showing you that uh, every time we increase the demand, for a pr uh, every time the price goes up, the demand goes down. And every time that unit price comes down, the demand increases. So, if we let P be the price per unit and Q be the demand in units, then we can actually come up with an equation that describes this by first of all finding the slope of that line, which is the change in unit price per change in demand, Q, delta P over delta Q, and then substitute that directly into an equation. Now, of course, if we want to find our equation, we're going to have to use our point slope formula. So, we'll get to that in just a minute, but let's go to this example. In this case, we're being told that at a price of $10 per unit, 500 units will be demanded, and at a price of $30 per unit, 300 units will be demanded. So, let's go ahead and let's figure this one out. If our price right here is $10 per unit, right, then 500 units are demanded. Right, that's so we get a lower price, we get a higher demand. On the other hand, if our price is $30 per unit, we up that price, uh, only 300 of them would be demanded. All right, well, in this case, I'm actually going to put a uh, ordered pair 10, 500. If we were graphing this, we could use these coordinate points to help us plot our demand function over here. Right, we might say that uh, if the unit price is 10, our demand is 500. And that's right, 500 units here, 10 for the pri unit price here. And then if the price is uh, $30, our demand is only 300. So at $30, our demand is 300. Right? So you can see that relationship, in fact, uh, between price and demand. Okay, in any case, let's uh, determine the demand function. So our first job, of course, is to determine the slope of that line. The slope of the line is the change in the values, in this case, P over the change in Q. Uh, we write delta P over delta Q to represent that. So what we do to find this change is that we're going to subtract. We're going to take the price, 300, that second Q value and subtract 500. And in the denominator, we're going to take our price, which is at $30 here, minus $10. While well, working out our numbers, that's negative, negative 200, divided by 20, which means that our slope here is negative 10. All right. Then we're going to use our point slope formula. Now, in this case, it's good. we're changing x and y into p and q, but don't let that fool you. Everything works exactly the same way. Our point slope formula would work like this. p minus p1 is equal to our slope m times q minus q1. So we're going to make some substitutions in here for p1 and q1. That's right here. P1 is equal to 10. Q1 is equal to 500. We have M, so we're going to put our numbers in. P minus 10 is equal to negative 10 times Q minus 500. All right. To write this into our uh, form that we can use, P minus 10 
is going to equal, we distribute the negative 10 to both terms inside the parentheses right here. So we're going to get negative 10 times q plus, right, negative times a negative, 500 times 10, that's 5,000. We just simply add an extra 0 on to the end of this. So if we add our 10 to both sides of the equation, we get our new formula, the price, is equal to negative 10 times q plus 5,010. That's what we wanted, and so we're done with our example.